Everything you start has a dream, but accomplishment requires action. Everything you start has a dream, a thought, a mental image, but this is just a first step. If you stay there, you will injure just your dream, but we are the ones who decide whether they will remain a dream or not. With continuous and intelligent effort, the dream can be turned into reality. I promise you that I will do my best in this way, hoping for an earth without pollution. So, go to the check out my dream. This is the new version of the magnetic motor that I uploaded before we shaped a cylinder engine, which has a much higher probability of working than the previous version. In this model, eight magnetic pistons and eight rotating magnets, each of which has four poles. Two positive poles and two negative poles are used. The crankshaft is located in the center and eight V-shaped magnetic pistons are connected to it by connecting rods and move back and forth in the glass cylinder. You can see the special arrangement of these pistons, the crankshaft and connecting rods and shafts of rotating magnets are made of stainless steel or pure aluminum as not to interfere with the movement of the magnets. Magnetic pistons have a positive force and a negative force and rotating magnets each have two positive force and two negative force. Rotating magnets are made of a plastic core in which cylindrical magnets are placed and this type of rotating magnets make it easier to pass through the lock area. The foundation and side brackets are made of aluminum or composite plastic. And a flywheel is used in this engine to neutralize fluctuations and save energy. And let's go to check the engine mechanism. Rotating magnets are connected to the crankshaft by pulley and timing belt. The ratio of the size of the crankshaft pulley to the pulley of the rotating magnet is 1 to 2 and when the crankshaft starts to rotate with each rotation the rotational magnets make a half rotation and with each half rotation one poles replace the next poles you may ask me why didn't you use pulley of the same size and also didn't you use bipolar magnet this is because in this old version, I made a prototype of this single cylinder model with this mechanism. But it could not pass the lock area and the same lens low. So, this is a new mechanism to pass the lock area. And an important mechanism that increases the probability of passing through the lock area. Applying force to the pistons in different position causes the force to be produced continuously and there is no blind spot of force in Keniston movement. I will make a prototype of this concept soon and upload it to the channel. Write your opinion in the comments. And finally, jump into the comments and let me know. If you like this video, be sure to check out one of the ones I will link it right here. And be sure to subscribe and hit that notification. As always, I'd like to thank all of you for watching. I will see you in the next one.